Globally, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud has five components. First, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server is a place where all information about protected endpoints is stored. It is the command center through which the administrator can manage protection. All protected endpoints are connected to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server one way or another, and periodically synchronize with it. Second, Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Console is a web interface through which the administrator can manage protection. Third, Network Agent and Kes for Windows, Mac, protection for Windows and Mac OS workstations and servers. Although these are actually four applications, Network Agent for Windows, Kes for Windows, Network Agent for Mac OS, and Kes for Mac, we've joined them here because the pairs Network Agent plus Kes work similarly for Windows and Mac OS. Fourth, Mobile Device Management Profile Protection for iOS Devices. Fifth, Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Mobile for Android, Protection for Android Mobile Devices. Let's elaborate on the components. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud must be accessible from the administrator's computer over TCP ports 8080 and 8081. The former port is a must, the latter, advisable from all managed Windows and Mac workstations and servers over TCP 13000. From all managed mobile devices, Android and iOS, over TCP 13292. The internal web server of Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud will distribute installation packages and MDM profiles over TCP 8081. Therefore, at the first connection, if you do not want to consider another method of delivering packages, for an MDM profile, it is impossible anyway, Make sure that Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server is accessible over TCP 8081. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud domain name will be selected automatically when registering with Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud is a virtual machine and a virtual infrastructure that is created and completely maintained by Kaspersky Lab experts. It is hosted in the cloud. The hosting cost is already included with the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud license, the customers will not bear additional expenses. Registering with Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud is free, but a license is required for connecting devices. Right after you sign up, a 30-day trial license is automatically created in Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. Later, it will need to be replaced. The registration address is https colon slash slash cloud.kaspersky.com. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Console It is the administrator's tool. The only remote management tool of Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Console is a web console. It is accessible from any browser on any device connected to the Internet. The only requirement is accessibility of cloud.kaspersky.com servers over TCP 8080. Officially supported browsers include Microsoft Edge 13.0 and later Google Chrome 65.0 and later, Mozilla Firefox 45 and later, Apple Safari 8.0 and later. Microsoft Internet Explorer is not supported. One or a few programs will be installed on all endpoints connected to Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. For different operating systems, different components are necessary. For Windows workstations and servers, Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows and Network Agent. Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows consists of a threat protection components, device control, web control and other components. Together, they provide adequate protection against malware, and more. Network Agent is responsible for communications between Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Windows and Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server. It is the network agent that receives and transfers to Kaspersky Endpoint Security new settings configured. In the reverse direction, it informs Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud about a detected threats, outdated databases, and illegitimate user actions. For Mac computers, similar to Windows, but different programs are used, Kes for Mac and Network Agent for Mac. For iOS devices, MDM Profile. It is a small XML file where the administration server address and certificate are specified. After an MDM profile is installed on an iOS device, it can be remotely managed from the administration server. For Android, KSM. On Android, everything is packed into a single application named Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Mobile, which is responsible for threat protection and communications with Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server. Let's elaborate on the communications between the Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server and the protected devices. Connections can be planned or pushed. 
plan synchronization in Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud is always initiated by the client, meaning the protected computer or mobile device. Different plan synchronization periods are configured for different devices. Windows or Mac workstations and servers, 15 minutes. iOS and Android mobile devices, 6 hours. You cannot modify the plan synchronization period in Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud. Pushed synchronization is not available for Windows or Mac workstations and servers. Only Android and iOS devices can forcibly receive commands from Kaspersky Security Cloud. iOS mobile devices synchronize via Apple Push Notification Service (APNs). It is a service developed and supported by Apple. Other manufacturers use it to send commands to devices where their applications are installed. The device must be connected to the Internet. Androids can receive commands sent from Kaspersky Endpoint Security Cloud Server. Pushed synchronization is also possible. Everything is supported. This is provided by the Firebase Cloud Messaging FCM, technology, an APN's counterpart for Android devices. It is developed and supported by Google.